Hey, I recently completed this lightsaber. Thought I'd do a quick video showing it off. Um, sorry about my little workstation here. I got a lot of glue and solder and everything else on it, but it'll work for today's purposes. So here is my recent build. Um, it's running a crystal focus. Uh, the LED is a red, red, green. That's a tri -creat tri -cree LED uh, measures uh, dare I say that it's measures 10 and a half inches long um, mostly brass and aluminum more aluminum than brass brass is mostly on the inside chassis which I will show you in a minute here is the emitter um, okay. uh, this section right here here's the switches this little uh, neck ring here, um, it's been carved out with files. I thought it'd be kind of neat to do something hand done rather than just machined so that these are, uh, you know, initially mill slots all the way around and then to circle these around, I file them. I thought that just gave it kind of a new, uh, kind of a cool old world look to it um, that's the pommel that I made um, put that on my rotary table um, the d-ring there um, that's the kill key I think I'll unscrew it and show to you the chassis before I pull that Here is the chassis. There's the crystal chamber. Um, does have a backside to it. There's the speaker. Uh, the pivot point. You gotta screw this uh, set screw. The speaker holder will come out. It's all assembled with a uh, JST connector. Um, Everything can be taken apart and pulled apart and worked on if needed. The SD card is behind the speaker as well as the soundboard there. There is a nice uh, little accent LED that I put there, a little window for it. Let me pull this and show you what it sounds like. This is at 60% volume. I don't know why it's so loud, <laughs> but it is. smaller it doesn't look small on the camera but ten and a half inches is a little bit on the smaller side a shorter side of a hilt I really like it this size um, I've learned that I don't like anything much bigger than a uh, than 12 inches so I try to stay within that perimeter of just 12 inches or under um, ten and a half is is pretty much the smallest I've ever made Anyway, I'll be listing this for sale, most likely here in the next day or two. Put the kill key back in. Um, the set screw to hold the blade is right there. But I also thought, um, you know, if you wanted to, because these screws, um, 
they don't penetrate all the way through, but there is a hole going all the way through so you can take them out if you really wanted to. But I thought you could. I can't do it with my fingers. I thought you could take these out and put like a, I don't know if I could do that. You know, if you're going to a con or you're wearing a costume or you're going somewhere, you don't want to have to bring the Allen wrench with you. I thought it'd be good to just be able to put a thumb screw in there. Just so that you can easily uh, unscrew and hold the blade. Oops. Definitely gives it a little bit of a different look. I'll probably offer the um, thunderbolt screw, thumb screw with it, so the owner can have the option. Anyway. That is it. That is my latest build. Thanks so much for watching.